Together World Tour has brought us to Australia, Europe, North and South America. And now, June 6, 2015, we return to Asia to celebrate 14 years of this radio show in style with you. So a very good evening or a good morning wherever you're listening. I'm Armin van Buren. This is the State of Trance Festival live and direct from a blazing hot Mumbai in India. We have a video stream going on right now if you want to see what's going on. I'm actually wearing a jacket, funnily enough, because the air conditioning's here. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Yeah, it's on, it's on freezer. Yeah. yeah. Hello, guys. How are you? Great, great. I feel great. India has treated me just fine. I've tasted all the curries there are. Really? And I still don't have a deli belly. So uh, happy, happy, <laughs> joy, joy. I got to be honest with you. These people here are so nice. Unbelievable. Not to say yeah. that other people aren't nice, but India is like... It's, it's like a lesson in humbleness and friendliness. It's something when I come back, I'm like, w wouldn't it be great if the entire world was like India, but yeah. with clean toilets, maybe. <laughs> exactly. I know, exactly. Yeah. We're live for the next seven hours with a pretty epic lineup. Super Aiden Tap, Orion Nielsen, Cosmic Gate. And right now on the decks, Ruben de Ronde. And I know, I hear you thinking, wasn't Simon Patterson supposed to be here? Well, he was. He ran into several difficulties obtaining his visa to travel here. We apologize on behalf of him, himself, and we'll honor him tonight. And I'm sure we'll see him at one of the next State of Trance events. Let us know where you're listening from. Use the hashtag ASATFestAsia throughout the several social medias so or reading along with you right now. Or even better, record a message with your phone or a microphone uploaded using the special upload button on thestateoftrance.com to hear your shout out in this broadcast. All right, enough talking for now. Let's go back to the main stage for our own Ruben de Ronde. <laughs>
And tonight, we dance to Ruben Tehran, together in a state of trance. Hey guys, this is Andrew Royal, and you're tuned to a state of trance festival. Hi, this is Luke Bond, and you're tuned into a state of trance festival. A state of trance festival.
We had a little gig here as well uh, during the episode 600, and I must say it's great to be back here. There's so many fans of trans music here in India. Every episode number trends here on social media every week. There's a big community here for trans, so we just had to go back. And making this all possible is promoter, writer, inspirator, and above all, great personality. Welcome to the studio, Shalindra Singh. Ooh, my pleasure. <laughs> Is there something in Indian you can say to welcome the people? Namaste. Namaste means Namaste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard this is a very big year for you. When it's, the, it's a sort of a stepping stone uh, to getting to the 10th year, which I think is going to be very nostalgic for the Indian fans because yeah. I think from day one, uh, Sanban has been about for the fans, of the fans, by the fans. So this is the, uh, I mean, nine years has been the foreplay and the next year is the climax. Okay, yeah, because it's really blowing up here in India, right? The dance community. I, I think it's, it's ambassadors like you, to be honest. I've, I've got to be truthful to the fact that, you know, you can create music, you can create events, but it needs champions and a champion like you in trance and the other spaces. It just makes things easier, to be honest. You're, you're the virus. What, uh, what is the most popular sound in dance music right now here in India? I mean, it's, it's big room, you know, sort of... The commercial stuff still does work, but I think uh, what we've seen today and the previous time that you came back, I think trance is in the bloodstreams of every Indian. And that, I think, is the start. And that's where they started, back in 1970s from Goa. I know, trance Goa. Was, yeah, yeah, that was the yeah. DNA. So I think, I think, like I said, we originated the virus and then you've carried it across the world and to <laughs> India. <laughs> back home. Exactly. <laughs> so what's it with Goa, Psytrance and India? What is the story? I think it's all about the hippies and, and, and basically, I mean, we are, we are pretty much the United States of India. We invite all kind of people to come to our country. And I think a lot of hippies and foreigners came to Goa and never left. But why, <laughs> why do so people dance naked in Goa on trans music? Well, I think I like the, it. maybe the weather and the music is just that lethal combination. I love it. Love it. Hey, you're, you're very active on social media, we can see. You're interacting with your crowd. Do you think that's a, a key to the success of Sunburn? I think, I think, I mean, seeing the way the world is operating, I think 90% of uh, our community of fans are going to connect on the digital platform, and that is it. If you're in it, it's great. If you're not, you're out. Yeah, exactly. Is it difficult to do an event like this here in India? It's a nightmare. <laughs> it's fucking impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Why? Why is it? Why is it impossible? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, we're not it's very smart with sort of music tourism and sort of entertainment industry in India yet. I think there are other priorities. For every event like this, you need 176 permissions and they practically come before the opening set. <laughs> really? <laughs> it is the truth. I won't lie. And I can't believe that normally when you uh, when we do an event, you know, you have uh, companies coming in with trusses and everything. Here, most of the stage is actually made of wood. We, we, we have 1.3 billion people. We believe in human labor. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah, that's <laughs> really, really amazing. I got to say, but the Indian crowds, thank you. But I, I just at one point, I'm, I'm sure every fan of the across the world wants to know, what is that one thing that sparks the fire in you? I mean, I understand. It's, it's a feeling. It's hard to describe. It's yeah, just, yeah. If, you hear, if you see, if you hear this track, if you hear the crowd in the background, yeah. it's like putting your arms up. <laughs> and what's, what's your moment? Was your moment at Tomorrowland uh, when you played last year? Was that the most emotional moment for you? Probably, yeah, when my son was just born, yeah. Yeah, that was probably... What, what, what a kick-ass moment. And then God cries because the heavens opened <laughs> and it started to rain. <laughs> Come on, let's listen to this music. Man. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Shalindra Singh, for making this possible. Thank you for bringing a state of trance here to India. My pleasure. Let us know where you're listening on the globe. The hashtag ASAPFest Asia. And just a little bit, Super Aid and Tab. But right now, the man that's helping me with the radio show every week, Ruben the Bomba.
you describe our rec room today? Our rec room is uh, on a square with a lot of people and some unfinished buildings and a lot of trucks that apparently power the air conditioning inside of the venue. Yeah, but we're on the other side, so it's bloody hot. Yeah. I always think when I look around me outside the venue that a Bollywood scene can start every moment. <laughs> Someone starts singing and then the rest follows. Yeah. Do you have any ambitions now you're here in India to work on a Bollywood movie? I would love to. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah, would be great. <laughs> I'm not a good dancer, but you're a good singer. We're glad you're a better DJ and producer. So you're working on the State of Trance Festival mix compilation. What about that? I was asked to do one of the CDs, uh, one of the mixes. There were six guys. Heatbeat, Marlo, uh, Mark Sixma, Jor Verdano, Roj and myself. We all did a mini mix with exclusive tracks and yeah. it's in pre-order right now. So to make sure to get it. So what's so special about your piece of this mixing? Why are you better than the rest? I'm not better than the rest. <laughs> Come on, man. I made uh, three exclusive tracks for it, so, but you can hear those in my set tonight as well. A State of Trance Festival.
I said, what's up, Mumbai? How you feeling? Are you guys ready for some serious state of trance here? Make some noise for the one and only Huba Mahonda, come on! Thank you. 